in this session i will discuss with you next topic of mass transfer operation and topic name is diffusivities in the gases and liquids so let's start chapter name is diffusion in fluids and topic is diffusivities in the gases and liquids in this topic i will discuss with you various equations which are available to discuss the diffusivities of the various components so first we will see diffusivities in the gases what is the meaning of diffusivity diffusivity can be represented by the diffusion coefficient that is a dab and dba dab means diffusion of component a with respect to b and dba means diffusion of component b with respect to a now we will see pressure dependency and temperature dependency you can see here this is a relation for dab is inversely proportional to the pressure this relation shows pressure dependency on the diffusion coefficient means pressure is inversely proportional to the diffusion coefficient of component a with respect to b i can write like this as well that dba is inversely proportional to the pressure means diffusion of component b with respect to a is inversely proportional to the pressure similarly now we will see temperature dependency you can see here temperature dependency is nothing but dab means diffusion of component ab a with respect to b is directly proportional to the temperature raised to 3 by 2 now i will show you how diffusion takes place so this is the figure for diffusion you can see here there is a transfer of molecules from the higher concentration region to the lower concentration region this is nothing but diffusion and diffusion is the part of mass transfer now we will see various equations which are explains the diffusivity coefficient of the various components so first is wilke relation this relation is for the gaseous components so diffusivity of component in a mixture of components can be calculated using the diffusivities for the various binary pairs involved in the mixture that is given by the wilke you can see here according to wilke d1 mixture is equal to 1 divided by y2 dash divided by d12 plus y3 dash divided by d13 plus up to the yn dash divided by d1n what is meaning of this d1 mixture means diffusion coefficient of component 1 with respect to various components in the mixture means diffusion of component a in the mixture of various other components similarly what is the meaning of d12 diffusion of component a with respect to 2 d13 means diffusion of component 1 with respect to 3 similarly i can write d14 d15 means diffusion of component with one with respect to other components in the solution similarly d1n is nothing but diffusion of component 1 with respect to nth component but how to calculate y2 dash y3 dash so this is the equation for that that is y2 dash can be calculated like this y2 divided by y2 plus y3 up to the yn now next relation is gilliland correlation for estimation of diffusivities of gases this is also used for gaseous components according to gilliland you can see here equation is like this dab is equal to 0.0043 into t raised to 3 by 2 divided by pt into va raised to 1 by 3 plus vb raised to 1 by 3 bracket square into under root of 1 upon ma plus 1 upon mb what is meaning of this equation you can see here dab is nothing but diffusion coefficient of component a with respect to b t is nothing but temperature and pt is nothing but total pressure v is nothing but molecular volume and ma is nothing but molecular weight you can see here dab unit for the dab is centimeter square per second ma and mb is nothing but molecular weight of solute and solvent respectively va and vb is nothing but molecular volume of solute and solvent respectively and unit for the va and vb is nothing but centimeter cube per gram mole and pt is nothing but total pressure and total pressure is in the atm be careful while solving the numericals whatever the unit is given by this correlations you have to use in the numerical as well okay means if diffusivity is given into the meter square per second so you have to convert that into the centimeter square per second because according to experimental relation given by the gilliland these are the units you have to use these units only in solving the numericals in exam this relation can be asked for 3 marks and based on this relation numerical can be asked for 3 marks next is the fuller equation for the estimation of diffusivities of the gases so in the gases fuller equation is there so according to fuller equation you can see here dab is nothing but diffusion coefficient of component a with respect to b that is given by 0.001 t raised to 1.75 under root of 1 upon ma plus 1 upon mb and divided by 
P into summation of V A raised to 1 by 3 plus summation of V B raised to 1 by 3 bracket square. So what is the meaning of summation of V A? You can see here sum of structural volume of increments and P is in atmospheric pressure, T is in Kelvin, D is in centimeter square per second. What is D here? D is nothing but D A B and D A B is diffusion coefficient of component A with respect to the component B. T is nothing but temperature M A and M B we have seen in previous slide M A and M B are nothing but molecular weight and V A and V B are nothing but molecular volume. So you have to use these equations, these units while solving the numerical. Now you can see here in the previous slide, this is the figure for diffusion of the gases where various components of the gases are transferring from the higher concentration region to the lower concentration region and to calculate the effect you have to use this equation. Next is the diffusivity in the liquid. For this case also we will see one equation that is given by the Wilkie Chang equation. So according to Wilkie Chang you can see here according to Wilkie Chang this equation is given in 1958 and according to e this equation DAB not is equal to 117.3 into 10 raised to minus 18 into phi into MB raised to 1 by 2 into T divided by mu B into VA raised to 0 0.6. So what is the meaning of DAB? I already explained you DAB is nothing but diffusion coefficient of component A with respect to B and you need for this meter square per second. In a previous equation you need for DAB is a centimeter square per second but in this equation unit is a meter square second. Okay, Be careful while solving the numerical because you have to use units like this only. After that MB is nothing but molecular weight of the solvent and unit is kg per kilo mole. After that T is nothing but absolute temperature and unit is Kelvin. After that mu is nothing but viscosity of the solution, unit is kg per meter second and this viscosity is a dynamic viscosity, not a kinematic viscosity. Okay. After that VA is nothing but solute molar volume at a normal boiling temperature and unit is meter cube per kilo mole. For water as a solute value is 0 0.0756 meter cube kilo mole and association factor for solvent that is represented by the phi. So you can see again here equation is like this. This equation is for the diffusivities in the liquids and given by the Wilkie Chang DAB not is equal to 117.3 into 10 raised to minus 18 phi into MB raised to 1 by 2 T divided by mu B into VA raised to 0.6. This equation also can be asked for 3 marks and based on this numerical can be asked in your exam. So you have to be careful while the using the units so while solving the numerical because numericals are very simple okay but units are important so we have seen this now next is i will show you how questions can be asked in your exam so this is a sample question you can see here question can be like this calculate diffusivity of dry h2 in air at 303 kelvin and one atmospheric pressure the molecular volume of air and hydrogen are that is given that is like this VH2 this is the molecular volume of hydrogen gas that is a 14.3 centimeter cube divided by gram per mole and V air this is a molecular volume of air is equal to 29.9 centimeter cube per gram mole. So what is given in this numerical this is the components are the hydrogen gas and the air okay temperature is a 303 Kelvin and one atmospheric pressure is given and VH2 that is nothing but molecular volumes or various components are given. So for example for VH2 that is the molecular volume for hydrogen gas is given like this 14.3 centimeter cube per gram mole and V air is nothing but molecular volume of air that is nothing but 29.9 centimeter cube gram mole. So how to solve this numerical? Okay, Calculate the diffusivity of dry H2 this is the case of you can see here Gilliland correlation. Okay, so Gilliland correlation you have to use here and Gilliland correlation for the gaseous phase. You have to remember this point Gilliland correlation for the gaseous phase and according to Gilliland equation is like this DH2 mixture yeah, still you have to remember that DH2 mixture is there. So mixture is nothing but air. Air is the mixture of the gases okay and H2 is one of the component of the air. Hydrogen gas is the one of the component of the air mixture. So we have to calculate here DH2 air equation is like this 0 0.0043 into T raised to 3 by 2 divided by PT into VH2 raised to 1 by 3 plus 
V A R raised to one by three bracket square into under root of one upon M H two plus one upon M A R. So what is meaning of this? D H two A R means diffusion coefficient of H two with respect to A R, or diffusion coefficient of H two in the mixture of components in the A R. And T is nothing but absolute temperature. P T is nothing but total pressure. This is also given. That is one atmospheric temperature. Also given. That is a three zero three Kelvin. V H two also given. That is the molecular volume of the hydrogen gas. V A R. That is the molecular volume of the A R. You have to put all these values here. We know that what is the molecular weight of H two and what is the molecular of molecular weight of the A R. Put all these values in this equation and calculate the answer. So you can see here. Now I am putting all these. Values here. That is 0.0043 into temperature is 300 Kelvin. Raised to 3 by 2 into divided by 1 into 14.3 raised to 1 by 3 plus 29.9 raised to 1 by 3 bracket square into under root of 1 by 2 plus 1 upon 29. After calculating, you will get the answer. That is 0.544 centimeter square per second. So this is the answer for this question. So what we have seen in this lecture. We have seen in this lecture what is the effect of pressure and temperature on the diffusivities. Okay, so pressure according to pressure, DAB is inversely proportional to the pressure. In case of temperature, diffusivity coefficient is directly proportional to the T raised to three by two. Okay, after that we have seen various equations, equations in the gaseous phase, equations in the liquid phase. Okay, for example, we have seen Gilliland equation, Gilliland correlation for the gaseous phase. After that, Wilkie-Chang equation for the Liquid phase. This equation can be asked in your exam directly for three marks, or seven marks question can be asked like this: three marks for the equation and four marks for the question, uh, numerical based on this relation. So total seven marks question can be asked in your exam. Okay. So while solving the numerical, be careful about the parameters and units for those parameters. Okay. For example, there is a diffusivity coefficient DAB. So unit is in One relation unit is the centimeter square per second. In one correlation, the, the unit is the meter square second. So you use all these units while solving the numerical. So this is all about this lecture. In the next lecture, I will discuss with you next topic of the mass transfer operation. Thank you very much.